today we are going to be using our bodies and our imaginations to explore the incredible migration of the monarch butterfly. Before we begin, check your space and make sure you have enough room to move without bonking into any toys or furniture. Looking good. Let's get our bodies moving with a run and freeze game. It goes like this. You're gonna run and freeze. Nice. Run and freeze. This time, let's freeze in a really silly pose at the end. Ready? Run and freeze. Nice. Run and freeze. That was so goofy. Great job. We are gonna really wake up our concentration with some bunny breaths. Let's pretend we're bunnies hopping through a forest. Hop, 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 hop. We're gonna sniff for some carrots. Gonna use your nose to do three sniffs in. And now three sniffs out. Again. Great job, you guys. We really have the energy in our bodies moving now. Can you feel it? Hey, would you like to be a butterfly with me? I'm so happy you said yes. Let's use our imagination and get our butterfly wings going. Can you fly, 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 fly up high? Fly, 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 fly down low. Fly, 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 fly really fast and fly really slow. Try that again, ready? Fly, 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 fly up high. Fly, 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 fly down low. Fly, 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 fly really fast and fly really slow. Whew. We have a really long journey to make and we have to make sure we have good posture so we're strong enough to get there. Can you bring your shoulders forward? We're gonna slouch. This is called slouchy shoulders. I'm feeling tired and not so confident I can make it. Uh, we gotta fix that. Tap your shoulders and you're gonna bring them up and back and down. Wow. I feel stronger already. Then we're gonna slightly lift our sternum. Our sternum is also called your breastbone. It's a part of the rib cage of your skeleton that protects your lungs, your heart, and other vital organs. Let's find our sternum by tapping on it. Take three fingers and tap right here in the middle of your chest. Feel that strong bone in there? That's your sternum. Now, let's pretend to tie a small string onto our sternum and gently pull it up. Ah, that feels good. Let's try it again. Ready? Let it drop. And then tap to lift. Sternum lift. Nice job. Wow, great job, you guys. You look awesome. Who feels taller? Who feels stronger? I know. I feel way more confident already. Power, posture, yeah. Now that we have our power posture, let's get back to our butterfly wings. Can you make some baby butterfly wings? And what about some medium butterfly wings? And some big, huge butterfly wings? Whoa! Try again, ready? Baby butterfly wings. And some medium butterfly wings. And some big, huge butterfly wings, whoa! Oh, oh. Now we're gonna make it even trickier. We're gonna see if you can take your butterfly on the side of your body. Can you make some baby butterfly wings over here? And some medium butterfly wings. And what about some big, huge butterfly wings on the side of your body, whoa! Let's try the other side. Can you do a baby butterfly wing? And a medium butterfly wing? And a big, huge butterfly? Whoa! Oh, nice! Let's shake it out and go for another run. This time, we're gonna run slow. 
and medium. Fast and freeze. Nice and again, ready? Slow and medium and fast as you can. And freeze. Great job. Next, let's take a deep breath in through our nose and out through your mouth with a sigh. Try again in through your nose and out. One more. Great. Next, we're going to be using our hands to make two butterfly friends. To make our butterfly friends talk to each other, we're going to be using our pincher grip. To make your pincher grip, start with two fingers up like this. Looks like a peace sign. Then you're going to take your two butterfly antennas and bring them down to your thumb. Hi, I'm a butterfly. Let's try the other side. To make your pincher grip, start with two butterfly antennas. Looks like a peace sign. Then you're going to bring them down to your thumb. You can talk like this. Hi, how are you? If it seems too tricky to get a proper pincher grip, just try your best. Let's get these butterflies talking. Hi, my name is Butter. Hi, my name is Fly. Nice to meet you. I love flying. Flying? I love flying too. Hey, do you want to fly together? Yeah, let's be butterfly friends. Let's have our butterfly friends fly together. Can you make them fly up and down and up and down? What about out and in and out and in? Hey, let's try a circle. They're gonna fly in a big circle. Whoa, this is awesome. Try a circle the other way. All the way around. That was so much fun. Thanks for being my friend. Great job. Now let's just take one butterfly way up north in the Rocky Mountains and burr, it's getting cold. It's time to migrate down south to your opposite knee. Try it again, ready, way up north and they're gonna fly down south to your opposite knee. It's pretty tricky. Let's try the other butterfly way up north and he's gonna migrate down south to Mexico on your opposite knee. Up to the sky and down to your knee. Great job, you guys. Now, let's just use our hands to be butterflies. Can your butterflies fly up to the sky and down to the ground? And up to the sky and down to the ground? And the sky and the ground. And the sky, and your ground, and the sky, and the ground, and the sky. Oh, oh, phew. Nice job. Now, let's put our butterfly balance to the test. Let's do a quick power posture check. Shoulders up and back and down, sternum lift, power posture, yeah! See if we can get some really straight, strong butterfly wings straight out to the side. And you're gonna lift up on your tippy toes. See if you can lift up and balance without wobbling or walking your feet around. And we're gonna balance for one, two, three, four, five. Whew. Great job. Did you know the modern butterfly has four stages to its life cycle? The four stages of the monarch butterfly life cycle are the egg, the caterpillar, the cocoon, and the butterfly. Now we're gonna act them out. You may recognize this from a favorite storybook by Eric Carle. Let's lay down on the ground and make a tiny little egg. In the light of the moon, a tiny egg lay on a leaf. One day, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Can you wiggle like a caterpillar? Let's do some caterpillars up and down. And what about side to side caterpillar wiggles? 
and let's do a nice big caterpillar stretch and back down. Oh, I am so hungry. There's some milkweed. Let's reach out. Mm, delicious and reach. Mm, so yummy. Oh, there's some more, but it's really far away. We have to stretch and use our whole caterpillar bodies in. Mm, try again. Ready? Big, big, huge stretching. Mmm, delicious. I'm still so hungry. There's some milkweed over there. Let's reach to the side and the other side. There's a bumblebee. He seems friendly, but I think we should keep our eye on him. Let's see if we can keep our eyes on the bumblebee over here while we reach the opposite direction. And eat some milk. We try again. Ready? Watch the bumblebee and milk. Mm. He's on the other side now. Bumblebee's over here. Let's keep our eye on the bumblebee while we reach behind it. Great job, you guys. I'm really full. We're not tiny caterpillars anymore. We're great, big, fat caterpillars, and it's time to make a cocoon. Now it's time for us to sit up into a tuck position and make a cocoon. It goes like this. A monarch butterfly will stay in its cocoon for 10 to 14 days. But don't worry, we're gonna use our imaginations to speed up the process. And I have a cocoon challenge for you. Before we start, look behind and make sure you have enough room to roll back without bonking into anything. And then hold your cocoon really nice and tight and we're gonna rock back and roll back up to sitting. Oh, it's pretty tricky. Try again. Rock back and roll up to sitting. If you're having a hard time getting back up, you can use your hands on the sides of your body to rock back and roll up. Try to keep your legs tight in a tuck. It's really hard to do, and it uses your abdominal muscles. One more time, ready? We're gonna rock and roll up. Excellent, let's take a deep breath in our cocoon. In our cocoon, we went through a process called metamorphosis, and now we are ready to emerge as a beautiful butterfly. Ooh la la! This position of our legs is also called a straddle. Can you fly like a butterfly in your straddle? Awesome. Let's go over the four stages of the monarch butterfly life cycle again. A little quicker this time. We have the A, Caterpillar, cocoon, and butterfly. Let's repeat the pattern one more time, a little faster. Egg, caterpillar, cocoon, and butterfly. Great job, you guys. Now we're ready to stretch our butterfly bodies. This position of our legs is called a straddle. Can you say straddle? What's this called? Oh yeah. Straddle. And oh, I think we need to do a posture check. I'm, I'm slouchy. We have all this migration. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to make it. I'm feeling pretty tired and weak and ah, We gotta change that. Shoulders up and back and down. Sternum lift, power, posture, yeah. Oh, that's better. We're ready to go. Let's reach our hands way up to the sky and we're gonna migrate all the way down to our foot and all the way back up. Let's try it again for a count of five. One, two, three, four, five, and back up. One, two, three, four, five. Great job, you guys. <gasps> See some milkweed down here. Let's put our hands behind our back and gobble it up. Delicious. There's some more. Mmm, that was so yummy. Great job. And I see some in the middle too. Reach out to the middle and eat it up. Mmm, -mm, yum. Now we're
we're going to use our pincher grip again to make our butterflies talk. To make your pincher grip, start with a peace sign just like this. Then, bring your two fingers down to your thumb. Hey, how's it going? Let's try the other side. You can start with your peace sign fingers and then bring them down to your thumb. We're ready to fly! Now that we have our butterfly pincher grip friends, we also are gonna practice our asking manners. In our straddle, let's put a baby butterfly down by our foot and the mama butterfly way up high. <gasps> baby butterfly's hungry. I'm so hungry. May I please have some milkweed? <gasps> Thank you for asking so nicely. You sure can. And she flies the milkweed down and, and they share a snack. Let's try the other side. Let's put our baby butterfly down by our foot and daddy butterfly is gonna be way up tall. Mm, oh, I'm so hungry. May I please have some milkweed? Wow, thanks for asking so nicely. Got some milkweed coming right up and he flies down. Great manners, you guys. Now, let's put the soles of our feet together and make our legs into some butterfly wings. Nice job. Let's pretend we're just flying around and hmm, kind of hungry. Monarch caterpillars only eat milkweed, but adult monarch butterflies eat all kinds of different things, including water, nectar, and some juices from fruits that we eat. Let's sit up really nice and tall. Shoulders up and back and down, sternum lift, power, posture, yeah. All right, wow, I feel like a tall butterfly. Let's twist and pretend there's some nectar right here on our knee. Let's eat it up. Mmm, mmm, delicious. And let's twist to the other side. And I'm so thirsty. There's some water over here. Let's get some water. Delicious. And there's some juice from a pear tree. Let's fly forward and Mmm, so delicious. Now let's just pretend we're flying around having a great butterfly day. And, uh, a predator, like a bird, uh, and he's coming right for us. Uh, 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 phew, it's gone. Uh, let's keep flying around. La -da 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 close one. Now let's bring our butterfly wings together and back to a tuck position. Does anyone remember what this position is called? This is a tuck. From our tuck position, we're gonna push our legs down to a pike. Can you say pike? Pike! Nice. Let's do a power posture check. Shoulders up and back and down, sternum lift, power, posture, yeah! Excellent, can you point your toes in your pike? What about a flex? And a point, and flex, and point, and flex. Can you point one and flex one? And switch, and switch, and switch, and switch. Nice, let's point both, and can you draw a circle with your feet? Try to circle the other direction. Nice, and now we're gonna reach up really nice and tall on our pike. We're gonna open and close our body like a butterfly wing. Gonna reach up really nice and tall, open and close. And open and close. And open and close. Great job, you guys. That was an awesome stretch. Let's get our butterfly hands out again, and we are gonna try some butterfly math. See if you can say and do this with me. It's gonna start one plus one equals two. Try it again. One plus one equals two. Great job. We are gonna make it a little more tricky. This time, it's gonna start from a tuck position. See if you can say and do this with me. 
two plus two equals four. Nice job, you're doing great math. Try again, starts in a tuck. Two plus two equals four. Wow, you guys are so smart. I think we can make this even more challenging. Let's go back to our tuck. See if you can do this one. Two plus two equal four. Nice job. It's the same equation, but with different body parts. Back to our tuck. Two plus two equals four. Nice job. You guys are so smart. From our tuck position, I have one more challenging balance for you to try. See if you can turn, and we're gonna put our arms behind us and come to a tuck seat. You're gonna lift your legs off the ground and balance. Nice tuck seat, you guys. And then, gets even more tricky, see if you can lift your legs straight and make your body into a letter V. And for an extra, extra challenge, see if you can lift both arms and balance your body in a V seat. Whoa. It's tricky, you guys did great. Now it's time for us to stand up and try some butterfly jumping jacks. I'm gonna stand up. And put your hands on your hips. Start with your feet together and see if you can jump your feet apart and together. And apart and together, apart, together. Great job, now let's try the arms. You're gonna go apart, together, apart, together, Heart together, excellent, let's try it all together. Can you make your body into an X, and an I, and an X, and an I, or a butterfly, caterpillar, butterfly, caterpillar, butterfly, caterpillar, butterfly, caterpillar, butterfly, caterpillar, butterfly, caterpillar. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's take three deep breaths in through your nose and out the side. Again, ready, deep breath in. One more. How does your body feel? How does your mind feel? I feel great and I hope you do too. We're gonna end with a little closing cheer. It goes like this. I am strong, I am smart, creative, action, adventure. See you next time. Bye-bye.